My first observation is that children have a natural affinity for technology that we are not possibly or fully exploiting. Since morning, he has been on that phone. And you cannot believe he's just less than three years and he can manipulate my iPhone more than I can. I remain glued to the screen for hours without being becoming bored. The problem I see here is that most of that usage by our young ones is geared towards fun games and other non-productive or harmful areas. I believe we need to find ways to channel that aptitude for technology to productive and value-added activities from childhood to the teenage years. And that is why I'm really happy about this initiative as this work of Innovation Bed Africa is the in thing as of now. I believe that if we can make our youths see the tremendous opportunities and value that can be created using technology, we can drive our GDPs of our various countries and incomes to higher levels within a very short time. There are many examples of the transformative power of technology on individuals, corporate bodies, and countries. Countries like USA, China, India, just to mention a few, generate a good percentage of their GDP from technology. Think of how companies like Microsoft, Google, WhatsApp, Facebook have become such an integral part of our daily lives and made their founders billionaires at very young age. In Nigeria, we also have champions such as InterSwitch, Flutterways, and the programmers that are coming up, which have all leveraged on technology to become integral to everyday life and made their founders and workers very comfortable. As Professor Umar said about Amos, you can see his face, he's still bubbly. <laughs> NVIDIA has in less than 10 years become one of the most valuable companies in the world with market capitalization of almost $3 trillion on the backs of his leadership in the chips and power of artificial intelligence. One of the questions I think we should be asking at this conference, at this event, is how many new and successful technical companies will be created out of the efforts of the participants at this forum. Success does not happen by luck or dreaming or just talk. So I would like to mention a few ways that we can drive technological success in Nigeria and I believe most of the developing countries all over the world. We need to integrate the latest developments in IT into our education.